In addition to files carrying ownership, they also carry something called permissions. And if you can imagine the concept of permissions as being, you have the right to drive your vehicle, but you only have permission to go a certain speed based on the speed limit. Well, the concept is same here with files. You might have the right to get to the file, see the file, but your permissions are going to dictate the level of access that you get. So we can actually read the file, write the file, or make changes to it. And if the file is executable, we can also assign the execute permission. So the combination of read, write, and execute can be combined together to actually give you a level of permission to a particular file or directory. Now the assignment of those permissions will be done either by root or the owner of that particular file or directory. Now it's actually a really good practice for you to assign permissions to sets of users or groups of users. And the main reason for that is it's a lot easier to manage a group named write permissions than it would be to manage 50 or 60 individual users that needed write permissions to that particular resource. So it makes a lot more sense for us to manage our file permissions and folder permissions by using groups. Now, there are actually three pieces to this puzzle of permissions. We assign to the owner, the group owner, and then everyone else, which is basically the everyone group or anyone that can get access to the file. So when you see permissions laid out, they'll be laid out in groups of three, the first of which is the owner, the second of which is the group owner, and the final is the everyone group. Now, these R, W, and X permissions also equate to numerical values. And this is made basically for simplicity so the operating system can read it and any administrators can get a quick glimpse of what permissions are available. So basically, we add those permissions together to give a total value of permissions to a particular group or user. In the example that we have here, we have a permission set of 744. 7 being 4 plus 2 plus 1, meaning the owner has basically full control over it. The next set of permissions is going to be the owner's group, which is going to say read only. And finally, the everyone group, which is also going to say read only. So as you can see, it's pretty easy to set groups of permissions very quickly using the numerical system or using the character system.